Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be a dupes video. I've been wanting to film this for a long time, but I didn't feel like I had enough examples. I really like dupes videos. I think they help me save money. Obviously, if something is really expensive and high-end and you can find a more affordable version of it, that is an opportunity to save money. But I also like when people talk about when shades are the same, even if they're in the same price range. I'm the type of person who gravitates towards specific colors. A lot of times when I go to the store and I find a new lip product, Product and I really love it and I love the color, I'll bring it home and I will already have at least two or three shades just like it and I'm sure I'm not the only person to do that. So I like dupes videos because it is an opportunity to save money in the sense that you're getting something that's more affordable than the high-end version, but also it's a good idea to know what shades are already out there. That way you're not buying multiples of the same color if you only need one or two. I'm going to get started. I have a couple face products, a skincare product, and some lip products. The first I want to talk about is the skincare product. The product I'm duping is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. That is $58 for a full size. It's expensive, it's not a cruelty-free brand, but it is a mask that I have loved for a long time. I remember getting a little jar of it in a set a couple years ago, and I really liked the way it made my skin feel. It really kind of got rid of all the dead skin cells on the top layer of my skin. It kind of made my blackheads look a little bit smaller. It just made my skin feel really smooth and soft and I liked it a lot. When I used it up I was kind of sad until I tried the Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask from Andalou Naturals. There are two tiny differences between this mask and the Peter Thomas Roth one. First, the scent is different. The Pumpkin Enzyme Mask from Peter Thomas Roth is more of like a pumpkin pie scent. This one just has a light pumpkin and honey scent, so it still has the pumpkin scent, but it's not as strong as the Peter Thomas Roth one. The second difference is this one doesn't have any physical exfoliants in it. The Peter Thomas Roth mask has little granules in it, and so whenever you're rinsing it off, you can kind of go in little circles and do a slight physical exfoliation if you want. This one doesn't have that. It's just um, kind of looks like baby food, honestly. <laughs> this one does not have the physical exfoliant component that the Peter Thomas Roth does, but it feels the same way on my skin. Skin. It gives me the same results. It even has that slight burning slash tingling sensation that the Peter Thomas Roth one has. I find that they give me identical results and this one is a lot more affordable and a cruelty-free brand, so I would much rather purchase this one than the Peter Thomas Roth one. The next dupe is for the Kevin Aquan Candlelight Highlighter. I actually talked about these months ago in my highlighter declutter video. I swatched them side by side, and if I can get a photo or a clip of it, I will insert it in the corner. And I swatched them side by side, and they're almost identical. And the dupe for the Kevin Aquan Highlighter is from Hard Candy. It is their bronzer in the shade Tiki. I think those two products would work on people of any age and any kind of skin because it doesn't uh, illuminate texture or large pores on the skin beautiful, subtle, everyday highlights. They are basically the same. The only difference is the type of formula. They both, I find that they both last the same amount of time. The Kevin Aquan formula is very powdery and a little bit softer in that sense, so it has more kick up. The Hard Candy Highlighter is a baked formula, so it's a little bit of a, um, not rougher, like not harder formula, but you kind of have to go a couple extra times to get any product on your brush. It looks the same and performs the same on the skin, so I don't see that as a big difference. And I think the wide difference in price more than makes up for it. So I consider those perfect dupes. The next product that I'm duping is the NARS Taj Mahal blush. This is a gorgeous blush. I've talked about it in numerous videos. It is a kind of burnt orange shade with a gold shimmer. This looks gorgeous on people with deeper skin tones. I think it really brings out the warmth in your skin. Beautiful shade. Um, but I find that it also works on my skin type as long as I use a lighter hand and a more fluffy brush. I don't really love uh, products with a lot of gold shimmer in them, but for some reason this still works on my skin and I do really love it. It's one of my favorite colors. NARS recently undid their cruelty-free status, so they are no longer cruelty-free. I think they're starting to sell in China if they haven't already. And so I was very upset and I was like, wow, I need to find a dupe. A lovely subscriber actually emailed me and told me that the Jordana eyeshadow in the shade Orange Shock would be a similar color and it absolutely is. If you can see in the pan, they're almost the same. This is a baked formula and this one isn't so there is a slight difference in um, how many times you have to put your brush over the product to get anything. So you do have to work a little bit harder to get this on your face, but I would actually prefer that. I would prefer a blush that isn't too, too pigmented on the first go. I'd rather something that I can build up. So these are fantastic dupes for each other. I honestly did not think I would find something that was so close. The only main difference I can find is the 
uh, NARS Taj Mahal blush has a little bit more of like a yellow gold sheen to it. This one's just like a true gold, I guess you would say. I don't really mind that. I think it would still look beautiful on people with deeper skin types. I think it would still give the same effect. And there's a huge difference in price. I think this is only like three or four dollars and this one's like up in the 20s, I believe. So definitely a major price difference. I think that you would not be able to tell the difference if this was on one cheek versus the other. The next couple of dupes are lip products and I wanted to start with a lip primer. The MAC lip primer is a product I used up in one of my most recent project pans. The MAC lip primer was kind of something that I never really thought to use because using a lip primer is really an extra step in my routine that I never think to do. And once I put it in that project pan, I realized that I actually do enjoy using it and I do find that it makes a difference in how well products sit on my lips and how long they last. The Ulta lip primer is almost exactly the same. Similar packaging, the MAC version is black and this one's white. It has even the same scent. It smells sweet like cupcakes and it performs the same. It does the same thing. It's basically the exact same product and this one I think is like half the price. So the Ulta lip primer I would say is an exact dupe to the MAC one. The next product I want to talk about is a purple liquid lipstick. I have both the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade LUV Love and the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Madison. I find that the shades are almost identical. I will have a better photo but if you can see they're basically the exact same. Maybe the Anastasia one is a little bit more pigmented, so it looks like it's a little bit deeper. And I guess if you were to buy one of them, it really just goes down to which formula you prefer. The Kat Von D one is a little bit lighter, and I find that it lasts a little bit longer than the Anastasia one. I don't think you need both if you already own one. And my very last dupe is actually a triple thread. I have two different dupes for one high-end version. This is the iconic Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in the shade Pillow Talk beautiful formula. I love it. I think it works for a lot of different skin tones. Even if you have a deeper skin tone, I still think that this is a very natural nude color. Really love this. I've had it for a long time and I really enjoy using it. However, it is like 20 something dollars. I have two NYX lip pencils that I find are almost the exact same shade. If you look, they all have like a nude with a slightly pink undertone. I think they are so, so similar. Once again, it just comes down to which formula you prefer and how much you're willing to spend. And I find that these all are very, very similar similar, especially when you wear them on the lips. And those are all of my dupes for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and fun. If you have any dupes that you know of that maybe people don't talk about a lot and you want to share with us, please do so in the comments. I'm always on the hunt for dupes. I would love to do another video like this once I find some more. In the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!